And welcome back to Dominican Rendezvous. Today, I want to talk about real estate and possibilities and opportunities that are worth consideration in the interior part of the country. Now, for um, for some time now, I've been focusing on on the Dominican uh, Republic uh, real estate opportunities, primarily in the Santo Domingo's and Punta Cana areas, but. For many years, the Dominican Republic uh, real estate market's focus has been on places that are more popular, such as Punta Cana and Santo Domingo, Santiago, the North Coast, and to some extent as well, San Samana. But the fact is that economic growth and access uh, to the um, major cities, the, uh, the banking, the logistics, the travel have made uh, those places, Santo Domingo, Punta Cana, particularly um, havens for a lot of people, particularly internationals and uh, that are looking to invest uh, in those areas. Yet, in my opinion, many have and are quite possibly overlooking the opportunities in the interior of the country. For those of you who know, um, I spend some time in the Sabao area. Um, uh, I go there as frequently as I can, whether it's Banal, Piedra Blanca, or, or La Vega to a certain extent, and then into Santiago as well. But there are some nice areas and uh, nice provinces within the interior of the country that I think are, are work, worth looking at. And so here's the question you want to ask. The question that you're going to ask is, what are they or where are they in the Dominican Republic in the interior. The hottest interior markets, I think, in the Dominican Republic are going to be found most likely, if you do your homework and do your research, in the Jarabacoa, Constanza uh, areas or cities. Um, you're going to find some good opportunities in Cotuí, uh, San Francisco de Macolís, San Juan de Maguana, um, Las Espanolas, Sabaneta, another great area to take a look at, as well as uh, Monte Plata. So take a look at these areas. Go over that list, look at those cities, see what those cities have to offer. Visit those cities. You might find them uh, something and somewhat attractive uh, for, for you. So how do you invest there? How, once you've seen these areas and you've seen an area that you're interested in, obviously you want to get more information about investing there. Again, you're going to look for a good agent and a, and a professional agent, a resourceful agent that's going to be there to help you uh, hone in and narrow down those choices of which that may be out there opportunities that may be out there you want to find a good attorney to work with that real estate agent if you need help on either one of those whether it's an attorney or a real estate agent get in touch with me i won't charge you there's no charge i will at least recommend to you people that i have full confidence in and that you will develop full confidence and a friendship with as well so you want to look carefully at those areas and those communities you want to look for potential in those areas based on the locale again it goes back to this thing location 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 three most important words in real estate does that location within let's say Harabacoa or within Constanza or Cotui, does it have access to businesses? Are there trends there that you're noticing or that your, um, your real estate professional has brought to your attention that the place is growing, that people are buying and selling in that area? You want to look for, if possible, the next big thing. And I think that next big thing can be found as well, not only in the Dominican Republic in the larger cities, but as well in the interior of the country. So again, take a look at Sabaneta, take a look at um, Constanza, uh, San Francisco de Macolis, Cotui, um, La Espanola. These are some areas that I think are worthy of your attention. From me to you, Dominican Rendezvous.